you and your friends are getting together. You arrived first. One by one, your friends show up and everything is normal, but the whole time you're looking out for that one friend, you know the one. Finally, they arrive. And suddenly it doesn't just feel like a normal get together. Something is different. It might even feel like tonight is just about the two of you. But the problem is, as far as you know, you're only friends. So today we're looking at a few signs that someone wants to be more than friends with you. They are physically affectionate often. Physical touch is so important to human beings. There are people who are more physical than others and a hug or a kiss on the cheek may not mean much to them. But not everyone is like the characters from The Lord of the Rings, affectionately kissing their friends on the forehead whenever they get the chance. So if they often find a reason to touch your hand, shoulder, or even your face, then that might be a sign that they see you as more than just a friend. There's a lot you can learn about your friend through how, when, and why they touch you. If they regularly hug people as a greeting, then it isn't really significant. But if you're the only one they hug, then that can tell you a lot. Psychologist Dr. Matthew Hertenstein and colleagues conducted a study in 2006 to find out whether or not we can distinguish emotions through touch. They found that we can pick up on anger, fear, disgust, gratitude, sympathy, and most importantly, love, depending on how we are touched. So if they high five you often or carefully share the armrest with you at the movies, perhaps they're trying to tell you something. They always choose to sit with you and focus on you. If your friend decides to sit next to you every time you hang out, that could also be a sign that they wanna be more than friends. There are a lot of ways to express attention. The most obvious is how they look at you. Do they maintain eye contact with you, look at you often, or talk to you more than anyone else? You might be getting excited, but remember this isn't definitive proof. They might just be doing so because they're most comfortable with you, but you may be able to tell the difference. Psychologist Stephen Langton and colleagues found in their study published in Trends in Cognitive Sciences that human beings excel at picking up cues through other people's gaze, such as widening eyes to show interest. In other words, we can tell quite easily whether we are actually holding someone's attention or not, but that doesn't tell us everything we need to know. For that, you'll also have to look at what they're like when you're apart. They text you differently. Texting is a relatively new way for human beings to communicate. There are whole new ways to analyze tone and meaning through text. Developing a relationship over social media has both positive and negative aspects. As pointed out in a 2009 study published in Speech Communication, the way we perceive someone as charismatic is affected by how they communicate. For example, someone might seem charismatic and flirtatious over text, but in person, kind of dull. Think about how you text someone you barely know and compare that to how you text your best friends. So what does it look like when someone wants to be more than friends? They might want to text you more frequently. They would come up with any excuse to talk to you. Their texts could be full of compliments or questions as they try to find out more about what you like. If you've been friends for a while, they might start dropping hints by asking you about romantic topics, using flirty emojis and writing long messages. Next time you're texting, ask yourself if the things they're saying are in character. Would they say the same thing to their other friends? And this extends to the kinds of jokes they make. You have your own inside jokes. Ask any couple and they can probably tell you about an inside joke they have between them. Maybe it's a nickname or something they do together often. Perhaps your friend has their own nickname for you or you frequently have your own inside jokes. This could be a conscious effort for them to get closer to you. Psychologist Mark Shelvin published a 2009 study which found that humor affects mate selection and makes us more attractive. We also tend to find people we're attracted to to be funnier. If you've noticed that your friend has been laughing at everything you say, even if it honestly wasn't that funny, it might be a sign that they're attracted to you and want to be more than just friends. They get jealous. Some people might not think of this as a positive thing, especially if you don't want to be more than friends with the person. But if they get jealous when you hang out with other people, that can tell you a lot about what they think of you. The irony is that jealousy leads to relationship dissatisfaction as found by psychology researcher, Dr. Rachel Alfinson and associates. Your friend might get jealous of who you're spending time with. And while it may not be the healthiest behavior, it could be a sign that they wanna be more than friends. So next time you're with them, keep an eye out for some of these signs. If you like them too, can you relate to any of these? Let us know in the comments. For more videos like this, like the video and subscribe to Psych2Go. Now go out there and spend time with your special friend. Have fun.